This is uh, part six of Make Your Own Mobile Game in 60 Minutes and uh, sponsored by chromacoders.org, a club to help students make their own video games. Um, so now that you've uh, made your own game in an interactive lab, uh, now you see how easy it is. It's really cool. Now let's talk about how your game will get noticed. Because um, one of the subtitles, or the subtitle for the talk was just uh, Start Your Own Mobile Game Company, pretty much, how to make a profitable game. So um, what you're going to do is to get your game noticed, you can do cross promotion with other simple apps. Um, you know, if there are other students or other friends that you've had that ins that are inspired to make their own games, promote apps through each other. Um, that's what Zoo Club did with Blast Monkeys and vice versa, and it worked really well. Secondly, you can use advertising. Uh, third is you can just get promoted in the App Store itself. Um, Google and and Apple, they do, uh, they do have features, or even uh, Amazon has like a free app of the day and all these other things, and that's another way where you can get uh, promoted uh, just through the app stores themselves. Uh, you can also submit your game to review sites like uh, Touch Arca Arcade. Um, and so, for example, you can post dev screenshots to forums like in Touch Arcade or some of these other places so that you kind of build a following. Uh, you can submit your game to alternative app stores, and some of these alternative app stores are like Getjar or even the Kindle now. You know, the Kindle Fire has its own app store, or the Nook, Barnes & Noble, stuff like that. They're smaller app stores, but uh, since there's less competition, you can stand out. It's easier to stand out. Uh, or finally, you can create a story around your app. You know, make a really funny, cute story, and and uh, have it promote your app. Like, uh, you know, Angry Birds actually has a little story on YouTube. And just guess how many views it's gotten. Let's uh, let's look it up right now. Really simple story. And okay, Angry Birds cinematic trailer. So you've got your guess of how many people have viewed it. Okay, basically here's the number: 54 million people have viewed it, and this number just keeps going up. Really simple video. You know, this is great. It's something a student could make, honestly. Um, we'll skip this ad. <laughs> okay, skip this ad. And there you go. Really simple. Uh, you might not be able to hear the audio here, so I would recommend you actually uh, just go to YouTube and just type in Angry Birds Cinematic Trailer, and you'll just see this. What's so genius about this movie is that first of all it's short but also there's no text so it's international it, it can work in pretty much any language anyone can understand it You know, really simple story sets up the framework for why you know the point of the game and it, it works really well so uh, you know it's just another fun thing and I, you know a student could definitely do this too okay so that's that's those are just some ways that your game will get noticed uh, how your game will make money uh, so there are a few ways that your game can make money one is advertising you can put your ad in the game um, you don't have to put it in an obtrusive place, but you can just put it somewhere in the game and, and you know, you'll make money through that. Another way is just pay for apps. Charge people to, um, to pay, you know, pay for the app. And, uh, you know, usually it's like 99 cents. Just make sure you have constant updates, you know, have games as a service. That's something that Angry Birds did, you know, whereas most people are just dumping their app for 99 cents. Angry Birds kept on updating their app, you know, and it really paid off big time for them. And finally, I think the way that really works is the free-to-play model. This is the model that a lot of small game development studios are using on these mobile devices. And you know that NG Moco example that was presented in like part two of the talk? 
it, you know, here's their here's their revenue statement. Basically, they were in loss for like 2.46 million dollars, and then 2009 they lost almost 11 million dollars, and in 2010 they actually started making about 30 million dollars on a 30 million dollar run rate because they released many MMOs and they used the free to play model. And the free to play model was something where everyone can download the game for free, but then what you do is you charge like for in-app purchases or little currency that people can use to then buy premium items in the game really simple and it makes sure that the people everyone can enjoy the game but if people want a little more they can just pay for the in-app currency okay uh, so congratulations uh, you have completed level one and um, you know the next steps for your game and um, is level two but here's your leveling bonus for actually completing level one. First of all you can get free interviews with successful mobile game developers on the chromacoders.org blog um, you can also get free copies of the slides of this talk at a chromacoders.org slash makegame.pdf. Uh, you can get free help. You know, I'll be happy to help any uh, student that needs help to make their own mobile game or finish it up uh, at action at chromacoders.org. And, um, and also, uh, you can get free sounds for your game at freesound.org and uh, free artwork at either chromacoders.org or even conceptart.org. So a lot of the concerns that people students have like, oh, I don't, I don't have access to artwork, I don't have sounds, we're giving you websites that you can now go to that can allow you to get artwork needed or the sounds needed to actually finish your game. So all you really need to do is just come up with a fun and compelling idea. And finally, Zoo Club, uh, which I mentioned before, will promote one student game. So there's a section in Zoo Club where people can get coins for downloading an app, uh, what we will do is we will put a link to your game. If it's a compelling game, just submit it to chromacoders.org and just say that, hey, I want it promoted. And we'll go from there. And finally, the next quest is to make a game that actually gets released on the market. And you have one week to do that. If you do that, uh, you will get this other little bonus here, which is the mobile game design book. Uh, which is an $80 book on Amazon.com. Uh, you can go to Amazon.com and type in mobile space game space design, so mobile game design, and you will see that book. It's $80 and you will get it for free if you can actually complete a game in a week and make it so it's ready to be released or published onto the marketplace. Uh, so thanks again. You know, this is the talk. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions or feedback, you know, either post in the comments or send an email to support at chromacoders.org. I wish everyone here the best of luck, and I do hope that you do take advantage of the opportunities to actually make a cool game and put it on um, your mobile phone or some tablet device. Take care.